the dope for A112 sampler is a bit of um, a pain if you want to use it for sampling. You can put audio into it, no problem. And you can use it as a kind of weird effects box, no problem. But if you want to actually dump uh, samples to be used as one shots or as wavetables and make this thing into an oscillator, you're kind of stuffed because Dopefa doesn't offer any updates to its very, very antiquated software that, that you're able to get for this. You kind of need to go back to a Windows 95 PC if you want to be able to run that stuff. So I trawled the internet and found that there is a very, very nice um, uh, update version made by uh, a guy called Peter Witzel and his website, I put in the link, but it's privatepublic.de. And he and some very other clever people have made it so you can now use this software in the modern age to load a sample onto your 112. And the way to do it is to switch your top switch to the sample bank that you want it to go to, so sample one. Middle switch is gonna go left to DMP to dump, so we can just dump the sample on there. And the third switch, stick it to norm in the middle. You need to connect MIDI out from your computer to the MIDI in of the module, so you can send the, uh, whatever the hell it is, <laughs> system X data. Um, you need a gate and you need um, a pitch. So I'm just using an Arteria keyboard to send gate and pitch CVs. And lastly, you need to keep the tune knob all the way to the left. It gets really weird without that. So going over to the software, you've got to load up into it the little WAV file that you want to send. So you're going to select it. The annoying thing about this is that you can't load from an external hard drive, but you know, that's just the way it goes sometimes. So I'm going to load up this particular sample. When we've got it there, we're going to go to transmit and save. You select the MIDI port that's connected to your module, in my case, port 5, and then transmit. You get a load of weird sound. But you've got to see it through. You've got to wait. And then after it's finished counting down, you've still got to wait. I'll show you why. So it's done it, but then... That's when you know it's really done it, when it actually plays the sound back. So, it should now be in the module. If we go back over to it, and to find out, we've got to switch from dump to play, and then on our keyboard that's connected, you can play the sample as a one shot, or if you switch here to wave, on the third knob, switch to wave, then it operates as a wave table. So that sample is now something that you can just consider your waveform in an oscillator, which is awesome. I wanted to do it for so long, and I wish Dopefer would have kept up the software or put a link to um, this great, great software that lets you do that. And I'll put a link for it in the description. So I hope it helps you guys very much in your needling.